Hi there. I'm Ben from Charters of Persia in Aldershot. I just want to share with you some exciting news, being that we have our new E3008 on site today, and we're going to take it for a drive. So the very first impressions of this car come from how the cockpit is laid out. I mean, you've got a huge 21 inch panoramic display screen in front of you with some handy eye toggles down here to change the touch screen display. Now, how everything is sort of slanted towards you as the driver, including even things like your window controls um, and mirror controls like that, just makes you feel very included as the one and sole controller of the vehicle. Peugeot have very much stuck with their customizable screens here. So you can customize either the center dash uh, controllable through the iToggle system or the screen that gives you your heads up information in front of you. So for example, one click on the end of this toggle here will change it to the navigation. You have the navigation displayed and if there was a route on there, it would display it in front of you there as well. So a bit of exciting information for you is that Peugeot have integrated ChatGBT into their software for a car like this meaning you can speak to the car and ask it a question on virtually anything and it will be able to answer that question for you. So the real exciting part about ChatGBT is it offers a much more natural interaction than other voice activated chat systems. So Peugeot are very much stuck with their small steering wheel where you can see over the top and everything is available to see. You don't lose sight of anything as you're steering. You can see all the information that you need now what they've done with this steering wheel in particular is they have made it a little bit deeper and then that has allowed them to get many more buttons in at the side here. So you make, you have a, basically everything you could need from your cruise control, speed limiter, volume controls, chat GBT or OK Peugeot button and the access to your calls. So one notable thing to mention about this car, especially from just initially sitting in it, is the seats. Now on the GT model, they come with half Alcantara half leather seats as standard but they also have these really comfortable bolsters that hu almost hug you from the side and make, sh make you feel really secure in the seat especially around the corners. So although it has an impressive power output it's not unreasonably quick i.e it doesn't throw you about like potential other electrics on the market it really has a quite an ease into um, and a great pickup off the line. New to this car in particular for the Peugeot electric range, you actually have adaptive regenerative braking, meaning you've got three levels um, which you can control through the paddles at the back of the steering wheel. So by turning that up, you increase the amount of regenerative braking that the car actions. So that could be for a variety of scenarios, either on the motorway where you want it nice and light, or around town where you want it nice and heavy, just to be able to recover the most from the road. Some really interesting features about this car as well is and especially on the gt is behind the 21 inch panoramic display screen it is very much floating it doesn't look like it's connected to anything but this material i don't know if you can see it along the side here carries along across the dash now that gives a very sort of 3d and concave shape to it, it makes it look really cool with the ambient lighting that comes up from there as well at night so this E3008, much like the rest of the Peugeot range, is so quiet and comfortable. It's a serene driving experience. It's, there's no noise, no smells, no vibrations. It's just bliss. This E3008 has 326 miles of range, according to WLTP, which is a, a recognized international test for the range of electric vehicles. We've been driving around for circa 30 minutes now and it hasn't dropped past 326 yet. So it really does show that this car, mile for mile, will likely get what you need it to do. Even just looking around the cabin of this E3008 here, you could comfortably get five passengers in here, which makes it a perfect family car for your standard nuclear family, so to speak. Two adults in the front, kids in the back with a, with a room for one friend. So with the seating arrangements and still being a very practical SUV in this segment, it doesn't compromise at all on the styling. It's still a stunning looking car that'd be recognizable from a mile away. So even though it's a scorcher of a day outside, we do have the aircon on inside the car. It's incredibly comfortable in here, but it's all doing it automatically. It's at about half power at the moment and you, you can't hear it. You know, it's those sorts of things that really build into a driving experience for me. This E3008, 
with a segments leading 326 miles of range, accompanied by the fact that in late 2024 or early 2025, there will be the long range version with 422 miles of range being released. It is definitely the electric car you should consider over the next year. That coupled with the partnership between Peugeot and Octopus Energy, it means you can get the charges installed at your home address with ease and lower charging tariffs, meaning the change to electric has never been easier. This E3008 features two specifications, either Allure or GT. Now picking between the two may be very difficult given that you get wireless CarPlay on either or and that also comes with the 21 inch panoramic screen and the eye toggles. However, there are a few key features on the GT such as a wireless charging plate and an automatic opening boost that goes with a wave of a foot that make the GT probably the choice of the champions. Add to that the modern technology this car possesses such as the 21 inch panoramic screen and the integrated chat GPT. This truly is the car of the future today. Thank you very much for coming on this drive with me. If there's anything else we can help with, please do give us a call to book a test drive or just to find out some more information here at Charters Peugeot and me or one of the team would be happy to help. Thanks again.